Paul Zimmer is one of the weirdest and most bizarre influencers that the world has ever seen. He truly embodies what it means to be cringe and has given the ick to pretty much anyone that has ever watched one of his videos. But what's even crazier than his content is his actual story and his chaotic history of trying to achieve fame as an influencer. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look into the strange and twisted story of Paul Zimmer. So let's take you all the way back to 2015, when Paul first joined social media. His platforms of choice were Instagram to post selfies, but Paul also had a passion for the app Musical.ly. And if any of y'all are maybe too young to remember what Musical.ly was, or have just simply never heard of it, Musical.ly was essentially TikTok before TikTok existed. Users would post videos of themselves, lip syncing to different sounds, and looking back, it kind of seemed like the bridge that mixed Vine with TikTok. And TikTok actually bought the app back in 2018 after seeing how successful some of the faces coming out of the app were like Baby Ariel and Jacob Satorius. Paul was another one of these micro celebrities that rose to fame on the social media platform. He would post daily videos of himself, either doing weird dances, acting out random scenes with his fiance Jamie, or just flashing his abs for literally no reason. Now, when you look back at Paul's content, it seems pretty boring and mundane. However, after around a year and a half of making these videos, Paul was starting to pull in around half a million views per post, and he became one of the most recognizable and popular faces on the app. By the start of 2017, just two years since he began posting, he had over 7 million followers on Musical.ly, as well as around another million followers on his Instagram. He kept this momentum going for the whole year. However, in 2018, things changed massively for the stars of Musical.ly as the app was bought by TikTok. And this saw many famous lip syncing faces lose popularity as other new trendy teenagers started to shine. At first, it looked like Paul hadn't fallen into the curse, as his followers transitioned over to TikTok and he had one of the biggest followings on the app, whose empire was growing faster than the speed of light each day. But in spite of this, there was trouble in paradise as Paul got caught in a pretty controversial and dramatic scandal, which would be the key ingredient to his demise as a famous influencer and TikTok celebrity. The problem started not only on Musical.ly, nor on Instagram or even TikTok, but an app called Lively. This was like a sister app to Musical.ly, and it was used by many influencers on Musical.ly to live stream to their fans. A big feature on Lively was one that is now pretty commonly used on TikTok, which is the ability to send gifts. This works by purchasing coins that can be spent on different stickers, emojis, and filters. You may have seen this when someone on TikTok is live streaming and suddenly they appear to have a cartoon mustache or a cowboy hat pasted on their face. These gifts are then turned into a kind of online currency that the creator can turn into real life money. Paul was an avid user of Lively purely for this feature, as it was a great way for him to make another source of income. But this practice was what made him controversial for a couple reasons. The first of which was that people argued that Paul was able to take advantage of his fans through live streaming, as he would pledge private direct messages expressing his gratitude for the support of his fans in exchange for certain gifts. But you have to keep in mind that most of his audience were around 13 years old, and as 13 year olds do, they adored Paul and would probably be very easy to manipulate into spending their money. The other thing that caused Paul's downfall was that he would solicit these promises to his fans, but then often forget or simply refrain from actually following through with the followbacks and direct messages, which led to the hashtag ban Paul Zimmer to trend. And soon enough, Paul was receiving tons of backlash being canceled before cancel culture had even reached its peak. When this whole situation unfolded, Paul was forced into the hot seat and was receiving tons of comments from people expressing how they had lost their trust and respect for someone who was once one of their favorite creators. And in mid-2017, he completely vanished from social media. He had wiped all of his content from his YouTube channel as well as deleting his Instagram account. In the blink of an eye, Paul Zimmer had gone from being one of the biggest internet celebrities in the world to just a simple memory in people's minds that they would picture when thinking about 
about the Musical.ly era of social media. For nearly two years, this radio silence from Paul continued. And if his essence was standing in a theater, you would be able to hear a pin drop. Paul's fiance, Jamie Rose, who had been a co-star in Paul's universe for a number of years, had also vanished from all forms of communication around the exact same time in order to avoid all of the questions from fans wondering where Paul was and what his plans going forward were going to be. During this point, you might assume that Paul would have just called it a day and decided to return to a normal and mundane life as he was now a disgraced and outdated mini celebrity. But if you assumed this, then you would actually be completely wrong. As during Paul's digital hibernation, he was actually plotting and scheming on how he was going to make his big return and come back to the internet bigger and stronger than ever before. With this whole process taking over two years, you would probably be expecting something huge and something that could quite literally break the internet. However, Paul returned to the internet in October of 2019 in what will probably go down in history as one of the most stupid and completely unhinged comebacks from cancellation to ever exist on the history of the internet. On the 14th of October, 2019, Paul made a shocking, unexpected post to his Instagram that he had reactivated in which he claimed to have found an unassuming actor online. In the post, Paul wrote in the caption, this actor at Troy Becker IG Kid looks like a younger your version of me. I don't even use social media anymore, but had to post this. Ha ha ha. Now, this post is literally mind-blowing, not just to me, but also to hundreds of thousands of people that saw it, as they literally could not fathom where Paul's head was at when he thought that this would be a good idea. The comments were obviously disabled. However, people were talking about this everywhere on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, talking about just how funny, but also crazy it was that Paul was obviously trying to form a new identity for himself and pretend to be a completely new person. Paul carried on his delusion of acting as Troy and would post weird comedy videos along with selfies that were like a slightly younger looking Paul wrapped in a Gen Z filter. Finally in December, just two months into his Oscar worthy performance, Paul addressed all of the rumors going around that he was actually the same person in a responding comment on Troy's Instagram saying, I'm telling you, he is my younger bro. I literally could not believe that Paul at this point even had the audacity to carry on this lie that he had put all of his support into a random child that happened to look exactly like him. Amid all the speculations and rumors, Paul took to Instagram one last time to make an official statement on the status of his career and an explanation to the saga of his alleged doppelganger. In the deleted post, Paul said, Hey, it's Paul Zimmer. This is probably gonna be my last social media post ever. I have come to a place in my life where being in the spotlight and being an entertainer is no longer my passion. Although it deeply saddens me to leave so bluntly, especially that so many of you have watched me for so many years. I don't wanna leave my social media pages just sitting to die, so I have decided to give my social media accounts to at Troy Becker IG because he is one of the dopest people I know and he is literally my younger twin, my much younger twin. I believe Troy is 15 or 16 years old, ha ha ha. Now that Paul seemed to have vanished for the very last time, people were scrambling to piece together some sort of solid evidence to support the allegations of Paul hiding behind the Troy Becker persona. Although it seemed glaringly obvious that they were the same person, there wasn't any actual proof to support people's claims. And by this point, Paul was gone and would not be giving any more clues, information, or hints to what was going on. Finally, a revelation came when a longtime Paul Zimmer fan called Halo Haley posted a video in the following October where she stated that she believed that Paul and Troy were the same person because if you heard Troy's voice in his Instagram to her, it sounded identical to the voice she heard when she met Paul Zimmer in person. Another popular YouTuber called Danny Gonzalez also made a video that exposed the mystery where he included an Instagram post showing Paul and his fiance attending an acting workshop at The Hella Approach, which is a performing arts and acting program. This this post was four months before Paul made his first post documenting the existence of Troy Becker. And in the video, you can hear that the voice Paul is completely identical to that of Troy Becker. So where is Paul Zimmer now? What is he up to? 
And what has he been doing with his life? Well, despite it seeming impossible to pull off to the present day, he is still posting to TikTok under the fake name of Troy Becker. You can easily search up his TikTok account where you can see that he posts nearly every day. He has over 100,000 followers, which although it is only a fraction of the following he once had, it's still pretty impressive considering that literally everyone knows Paul aka Troy's story by now. He has never addressed any more of the rumors till this day and continues continues to play the role of Troy Becker. However, even if he keeps up the performance for the rest of his life, no matter how much he tries to distance himself from his former name, a quick search of the name Troy Becker into Google will forever reveal the lie that this is the most impactful moment of Paul Zimmer's career. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one.